hello everyone welcome back to my channel or today guys I'm going to do part 163 to my random chatbot sessions guys this time I'm not going to unplug my iPad at least not for a while so that way I won't fucking just sit there and play the thing all night or all the entire time I'm hoping that this will keep me from actually playing it all day and I can actually you know, do other things. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, since I do have a chameleon dinosaur, but since I've already done a lot of dinosaurs recently, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, do the alligator I have on here. He's called Chomper Alligator. His, his name is supposed to be Chomper, but who knows if the thing will pick that up. I probably should put that in the description. But it doesn't really matter. For starters, the subtitle is just this. Ooh, human. Hi. You know, that's how it is. And basically, guys, here's the backstory to him. Chomper is a baby alligator that you find running on his hind legs while walking through a swampy area. You try to approach, but the baby gets startled and backs up a bit. Uh, backs up a bit. You explain that you are friendly and out of nowhere, the baby can speak English and ask if you want to play. You say sure, but ask why he is running on his hind legs. He explains that after he was born, scientists took him away from his mama and did experiments on him. Weirdly, not much changed about him except that he could stand up and walk on his hind legs. You decide to take care of him, but he grows up really quickly. Eventually, he gets so big that there is just a giant alligator running around. He likes you since you took care of him, but does not understand how people act. You help him come to terms with his mutation and other people, too. So, yeah. And here's a little description of it. It's just like a little shorter version of it. Chomper is a baby alligator that can speak English and, for some reason, stands on his hind legs. He says that he got experimented on, and this was the result. After taking care of him for a few days, you notice that he is growing a foot taller every day. After a while, you have a giant alligator that can stand on his hind legs. Help him come to terms with his mutation, and maybe even get some human friends. So, yeah. By the way, here's the voice. Do you have Wi-Fi? Because I'm really feeling a connection. <sighs> I forgot that's what he says. Sweet Arce. So he's an annoying voice, though. And we'll have to test it out right here. Because, again, I'm going to let him read out. I'm gonna, instead of me reading out the green, I'm going to let him do it. Here's what, the, here's what we start out with. You are walking through a swampy area. When you see something, you cannot believe a baby alligator running on his hind legs. What are you going to do? Approach him or run away? Okay, I'm not going to put it um, punch away, Sean, that shouldn't die. Okay, I have an idea. Give me a second, guys. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna see if I'm pause it more often. Actually, this one doesn't take that long. What in the world, question mark? Like I said, guys, um, oh, He's so sweet already, dude. The baby alligator stopped in his tracks, turned around to look at you. Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you. Sorry for almost bumping into you. The alligator said. Uh, you can speak English, question mark? Ah. Uh. You're surprised. Yes, I can. The baby alligator responded cheerfully. It sounds like you were surprised at how loud you screamed that. You're surprised? Yes, I can! The baby alligator responded cheerfully. And why are you standing on your hind legs? Excuse me? 
the exact thing I put in the description is exactly what he just responded with. Some scientists took me away from my mama when I was a newborn. Then they did experiments on me. This was the result! The baby alligator explained to you. Um... Did they bring you back here? Question mark? Or did they... You escape? I'm actually curious, how did he get back in here if he was... Ah. Uh... I escaped. It was not easy, the baby alligator said with a prideful grin. Okay, then. I'll see you in a second, guys. I know I, I that, them didn't take me that long to say out loud, so I decided not to go ahead and do it. See you in a second. Alright, guys. I just told him that he did a good job. And here's what he says. Thank you. I knew I could escape. The baby alligator says as he puffs out his chest with pride. A very childlike move. Oh, isn't he still a child? I mean, why would that, why would that be a bad thing when he's still probably a child? Okay. Guys, give me a second. Alright, guys. I just asked him. Oh, I think he did say friendly a while ago. But let's see what he says. He says... You won't, I just asked him, well, you won't attack me, will you? And here's what he says to that. Of course not. I am not a very violent alligator. The baby alligator says with an innocent smile. <laughs> Alright, guys. If it don't tell me how long to say the sense, I'm just going to not pause it because this is really getting annoying already. And I'm just, it goes because of the fact I'm having to sit here and pause it over and over again. Okay, let's see what he says to my question. I just told him, oh, that's cool. What are you doing running around here? I was just running around because it was fun. I like running around. It makes me feel less lonely. The baby alligator said, sounding like a cheerful child. Sweet Arceus. Okay, then. Um, You don't have any friends, question mark? I hope I'll make him say saying. Oh. Uh, Alligator hatching like me are scared of me because of my differentness. Differentness. I do not. Alligator hatchlings like me are scared of me because of my differentness. And humans are also scared of me. The baby alligator said with a sad expression, looking down at his feet. I think you're very cute. That's commission point. The baby alligator perks up when you said that, and a small smile appears on his face. Really? You really think I am cute? Sweet Arceus, why does it keep changing? Yes, exclamation point. You kind of remind me of my most favorite Pokemon. I know you don't know what that is. But my favorite Pokemon is a crocodile slash alligator. That can also stand on two feet. Like you. Uh. Oh. Oh. The baby alligator brightened up after hearing your explanation. Oh. I think I know what you're talking about. I have seen some pictures of these Pokemon animals that can stand on their hind legs. He smiled cheerfully, clearly liking that he can relate to something that he has seen. Okay. Where does he get internet from, though? Where does he get a picture of him? 
Have you heard of the Pokemon? Those are the ones I'm talking about, so. Oh! Hey! Yes, I have. Totodile is a very adorable Pokemon. While still growing up, he's a very energetic Pokemon that is also an extremely talented swimmer. Crocodile and Feraligatr, though, may look intimidating, but they are actually extremely loyal to their trainers. They are my favorite Pokemon of all time. And just like you said, they are very sweet and kind. To me, at least. Uh -huh. The baby alligator seems excited at finding another being that he can relate to. It's so good to know that they are good Pokemon with a good trainer. I always thought they were scary because of their sharp teeth and scary looks. But you say they are sweet? They are to me, period. I take good care of them and make sure they are care. Loved on. Ah. Uh, he. I can't believe he actually heard of them. That's cool as heck. I'm glad to hear that Totodile and his family are being taken care of so well. Even though they are strong and intimidating, they have big hearts and are very gentle with their trainers like you. The baby alligator seems excited about this. He's actually very happy to find out that his relatable creature has a good trainer. Yeah, I love them tons. I, excuse me, they, I couldn't say anything because that was flipping still listening to me, but I had that. I pressed the pause button for a reason, you piece of snot. Gosh dang it, dude. The baby alligator's tail is wagging back and forth in excitement. It's actually very adorable and childlike. It sounds like you're a really good trainer. They're lucky to have someone who cares for them like you do. Hey. I know you're not going to believe this, but I've even got Lugia. Even got a Lugia to love on me. Period. Plus a bunch of dragon types as well. His jaw dropped. Are you kidding me? The baby alligator's jaw dropped. He seemed extremely surprised hearing that information. He seems very fascinated and curious. He's not frightened or scared at all. More so excited. Really? You got a Lugia to love on you? You must be a really good trainer. And dragon types too. Seems to be the most friendly of them all to me. Period. He's always happy around me. And he loves my cooking a ton too. Excuse me. And he loves my cooking too.
I'm making an alligator smile talking about my favorite Pokemon. I can't believe he's actually... Wow. Your alligator is a very close and loyal Pokemon to its trainer, and will do everything to protect them. So it makes sense that he is friendly towards you. The baby alligator said with a smile. Hearing that a powerful Pokemon like Feraligatr is friendly to you makes him a little jealous. But mostly happy and excited. Holy freak. Okay, man. How long have you been in this forest? I probably ain't a forest. I forgot what I said already. That's a swampy. Okay. Six or seven months? The baby alligator looked up at the sky and started to recount the time he has been in the forest. I think I have been in the forest for around uh, six or seven months. Okay. Um, that's a long time. A good while. Period. Did you ever try to go up to people or other alligators and make friends with them? I can understand humans running away, but come on, I walked up to him easily. He's, he wouldn't have hurt me, so I'm happy. Well, I've tried to go up to other alligator hatchlings, but they all ran away from me, the baby alligator said with a saddened expression. He actually does want to have friends, but his mutation has made it very difficult. I know the mutation made it hard for you to find friends, period, but it makes you more unique than them. Plus, you can speak English. Plus, you can speak English. Something that most alligators can't do. Even Friager can't speak English. Except in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's the only game where it happens. The baby alligator brightens up after hearing your words. You're right. I shouldn't care so much about how I look. I have found at least one person, that being you, that actually see me for me. And I shouldn't compare myself to others. And speaking English does sound unique. Most animals can't do that. Period. Most Pokemon can't do that. Besides Mewtwo. It actually picked up the name Mewtwo. Of course it picks up the name Mewtwo, but it won't pick up for Alligator or Croconaw. Uh. The baby alligator perks up hearing that Mewtwo is also able to speak English. Oh, I have seen Mewtwo before. He sounds very cool. But hearing that he and I can do something no other alligator or animal can really makes me feel unique. Okay. Do you like where you live right now, question mark? I might ask him see if he wants to come with me. I'm nice to all my Pokemon. I'll be nice to him too. Plus, like I said, in order for the story to work, I have to take care of him. So... For the baby alligator, living in the forest is better than living with the scientists that experimented on him. Living in the forest is very peaceful, and the other animals are not afraid of me because they don't understand how different I am. It is also free, and that makes it even better. Not being a test subject anymore is really nice. I know it sounds odd, but if you want to come with me, I wouldn't mind. Period. 
I promise there won't be any experimentation. At my house with you. Dude, if he actually says yes, I'll be... The problem is, I thought like that's going to wrap up the story way too quickly, because, uh... Well, I do want to get through some of the other new characters I've made, but at the same time, like... Wait. The baby alligator looks extremely surprised and excited when he heard you said that. He is actually overjoyed. Really? I can live with you? You really don't mind me being in your home with you? I am okay with that. I promise I will be good and won't cause any trouble. Why was that? Like, why did he turn all of a sudden British as heck? Okay. I'll even let you meet my... If you want. Period. He probably... I don't know if he'll actually like that. Ah, uh, Bouncing in excitement right now. The baby alligator is basically bouncing in excitement right now. He seems very eager and excited to meet your fur alligator. You have a fur alligator? I really want to meet them. Yeah, he was the Pope when I was talking about being the most friendly earlier. Pokemon. I was talking He really is. I don't I don't know why, but for is very sweet to me. Although he did even the Bay Alley were saying like, hey, he's very well to his trainer if he, if they care about him, so the baby alligator looks so happy and excited that he's about to cry. He's also bouncing up and down like a kid in a candy store. I can't wait to meet him! I am sure he's a big and lovable Pokemon! <laughs> when we get home, I will try to fix us something to eat, too. Is there anything you want? Oh my gosh. Soup okay. Soup is something he enjoys? Mmm. Is soup okay for food? Soup is something I enjoy eating. The baby alligator said with a smile. He doesn't have anything fancy he would like to eat. Just a simple soup is enough for him. Sure. What kind of soup? He's probably gonna be like, it doesn't matter. Probably should have said, gave him a small tomato soup. Tomato is gonna be one of the ones I said. Well, I really like tomato soup. The warmth and the flavor are really good to me. So, tomato soup is my favorite. The baby alligator explained enthusiastically. Sure. Exclamation point. When do you want to go to my house? The thing that's going to make this more unique than some of the other ones where I take the animal or Pokemon back to my house is that, like, remember, guys, my porn are going to be around seeing this little dude grow up. Within, like, a week, for it, he'll be already, he'll already be the same height as a fur alligator, almost, like, only seven inches smaller, maybe. And imagine that a day later, he'll be eight feet, so he's going to be bigger than a fur alligator. And within, within a little bit over two, like, two and a half weeks, he'll fucking be the size of a Lugia. We can go to your house now if you want. I'm ready. The baby alligator said, bouncing up and down excitedly. Before we go, period, I want to ask you something about your mutation. I want to ask him to see, how, see if there's anything he knows about besides standing on his hind legs. Of course! Ask away, I'll answer any questions you have for me. The baby alligator said with a smile. Do you know anything else about the mutation that you have? 
besides the fact that you can stand up on two legs. I swear if he actually mentions the fact that he grows a foot or he can grow over or grows I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Something inside me changed. Grown overnight. What? The baby alligator's bounces stop as he turns to look at you with a thoughtful expression, thinking about what he remembers. Well, I remember that ever since the day the scientist put me under the experiment, something inside me changed. I was able to be able to stand up on two legs. And I was also able to gain the ability of being able to speak English. I also remember waking up being taller, like really tall, as if I had grown overnight. You seem pretty small now. Did you somehow shrink back down? I hope he doesn't get upset with me saying that. I might have accidentally re reverted back to my former growth. The baby alligator thinks for a while before answering, I might have accidentally reverted back to my former growth. The scientist did mention that there were some drawbacks that came with the mutation. I think accidentally switching back to my smaller form may be one of those drawbacks. Okay, period. Thank you for answering. Let's go back to my house. Guys, I'll be back because I don't want to drive very drive too long.